Hi, I'm Dan Costa, and this is What's New Now. The New Republic turned 100 years old this year, and ownership celebrated by firing editor-in-chief Frank Foer and literary editor Leon Wieseltier. They were let go because the New Republic's owner, Chris Hughes, who made $700 million working at Facebook, wants to take the company in a new direction. Now, media companies change editors all the time, but this shakeup is being heralded as a classic battle between old media and new. And that's happening a lot these days. Hughes is just one of a number of rich technology executives that are trying to make journalism work. And by work, I mean pay for itself. Jeff Bezos bought the Washington Post last year for $250 million eBay billionaire Pierre Omida invested $250 million to create First Look Media. They're going to fund investigative reporting by reporters like Glenn Greenwald and Jeremy Scahill. With the money, these new owners bring new ideas, new approaches, and new business models. Omida, for example, is trying to make all of his editors use Asana for task management instead of email. And now Chris Hughes wants to turn the New Republic into, quote, a vertically integrated media company. Now, I don't know exactly what that means, but I assume it's code for a company that doesn't lose $5 million a year. What all of these technology guys don't understand is that investigative journalism and intellectual essays on tax policy has never made money. It costs too much to produce, and it by design only appeals to a specific type of wonk. That's why the New Republic, like most literary and opinion journals, has always relied on the largesse of rich owners. This wasn't a free market friendly business model, but it worked, at least until you get a patron that gets tired of it and asks you to start making money. The New Republic was a great magazine, but it was always a terrible business. Now we're going to get to see if it'll do any better as a vertically integrated media company. For more on this story, check out our coverage on PCMag.com. I'm Dan Costa, and that's What's New Next.